Scientists have demonstrated a new way to study conditions like autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, and schizophrenia. NPR's John Hamilton reports the approach involves growing a cluster of human brain cells inside the brain of a rat. The cluster is known as a brain organoid. It's about the size and shape of a small pea. It usually grows in a dish, and in many ways, it mimics the early development of a human brain. But Dr. Sergio Pashka of Stanford University says these clumps of human brain cells have yet to reveal much about complicated disorders like autism. No matter how long we've kept them in a dish, they still do not become as complex as human neurons would be in an actual human brain. For example, they're smaller and don't make as many connections. So Pashka's lab began looking for ways to make organoids more sophisticated. The team decided to take the clusters out of a dish and transplant them into the brains of newborn rats. Pashka says it worked. We discovered that the graft grows over the span of a few months about nine times in volume. And in the end, it covers roughly about a third of a rat's hemisphere. The transplanted cells don't seem to cause problems for the rats. And Pashka says eventually the organoids start acting like a part of the rat's own brain. Nothing has been removed. The rat tissue is just pushed aside. But now you also have a group of human cells that are integrating into the circuitry. Pushka's team placed each organoid in an area of the rat brain that processes sensory information. After a few months, he says, the human cells seem to be reacting to whatever the rat was sensing. When you stimulate the whiskers of the rat, the majority of human neurons are engaged in an electrical activity that follows that stimulation. Another experiment showed the human cells could even influence a rat's behavior. So the team decided to study a rare genetic syndrome that can cause autism. They compared organoids made from the stem cells of healthy people with organoids made from the stem cells of patients with the syndrome. Pashka says that while growing in a dish, the clusters all looked the same. But once we transplanted and we looked, uh, you know, 250 days later, we discovered that while control cells grew dramatically— Patient cells fail to do so. The results appear in the journal Nature, and Paula Arlata of Harvard University says they suggest a new way to study how psychiatric disorders affect the circuits in a human brain. It's definitely a step forward. Arlata says organoids may stop developing in a dish for the same reason that an infant's brain doesn't develop properly without the right kind of stimulation. It's the stuff that we get after we are born, especially when we begin to experience the world and, you know, hear sound, see light, and so on and so forth. But Arlata says as brain organoids become more like actual human brains, scientists will have to consider the ethical implications of their research. We need to be able to watch it, consider it, discuss it, and stop it if we think one day that we are at the point where we shouldn't progress. I think we are far, far away from that point right now. Even the most advanced brain organoids are still pretty basic, says In Su Hyun, a bioethicist at the Museum of Science in Boston. Even so, he says this sort of research often gets a negative reaction from non-scientists. There is a tendency for people to assume that when you transfer the biomaterials from one species into another, you transfer the essence of that animal to the other. Hyun says in this case, the human brain cells are simply helping rats act like rats. He says some ethicists are focusing on another concern, that brain organoids may develop human-like consciousness. I think that's a mistake. I think we don't exactly know what we mean by human-like consciousness. And the nearer issue, the more important issue, is the well-being of the animals used in the research. Hyun says transplanted brain cells might cause suffering if placed in dogs, pigs, or monkeys. But he says the rats seem to be doing fine so far. <laughs> 